Hi guys, tonight I'm going to show you three different diapering clutches from brands that make diaper bags um, and two of them are designed as diapering clutches and then one of them is just actually designed as a purse but I'm going to show you how I think it's a little bit similar to the other two and um, then I'll do a packing video later to show what each of them holds and see if they kind of um, hold the same amount of stuff or if one is better than the other two or you know for whatever your needs are things like that so um, let's just go ahead and get started the very first diaper bag that I purchased um, when I started getting ready to have children was a rosy Pope diaper bag um, it was a like no not a gray it was like a blue I think and it had that little fold over flap um, I, I didn't keep it very long because it didn't work very well for me but um, at that time I also got this uh, diapering clutch from Rosie Pope that actually looks like an evening <laughs> bag um, it has a little little clasp here at the top and it opens up just like that and it has an elastic pocket on this side and two slip pockets on this side it's hard to see because it's dark lining um, but uh, it also has a wipeable lining in here as well and no pockets on the outside but it's kind of this squishy this one's a vegan leather um, it's a squishy vegan leather that uh, looks kind of like those pillow kind of clutches now. Not exactly, but you know what I'm talking about. They're really, I see them on Instagram and stuff like that sometimes. But um, but anyway, so this is the one that I got. It's a good size, I would say. Um, it can fit quite a bit of stuff in here. Um, and so this is the first one that I have. Um, the next diapering clutch that was supposed to be like, you could also use it as a purse, is this one from Jim and B. Um, I'm sorry, that the one from Rosie Pope, I'm sure it has a name, but I don't remember the name of it. Um, this one is called the Farah, and it is made of leather. It has a slip pocket on the back with a magnetic closure, and then it has a zipper in the front and pocket is fairly big um, goes to almost goes to my wrist there and then it has one more pocket or one more section um, which is just the pouch part and this one did come with a change mat um, I actually I don't use the change mats that come with any of my bags so they're all you know wrapped up in their packaging and stuff in a box in my closet so uh, and I don't know where they this one is but um, but it did come with one and it took up you know space on the inside didn't fit in this part but the main part um, and this is the Farah it's got kind of like a croc detailing here really subtle so I assume it's some kind of stamping on the um, leather down here um, and this one was from did I say it was from Jim and B sorry if I didn't it's from Jim and B um, and then the last one is the one that's not designed as a diapering clutch but um, it is by a company that makes diaper bags and I'll talk with you about why I'm including it in here um, and it is actually the Harry from Carry Kit so this one has just like with the Farah it has a slip pocket on the back side with a magnetic closure um, this one has a flap that opens and then it has this pouch area here um, and a little slip pocket section back here the reason that I'm including this is because if you remove this one part right here which is actually like a mommy pocket space this would be the same setup minus the flap the same setup as the Farah. so it has a little pocket in the front a little zip pocket in the front and then a zippered pouch area as well and the slip pocket with magnet in the back that is exactly the same um, as the Gem and B Farah. the only difference is that this one also has the mommy um, section in it as well and it also has a crossbody strap it's still in there I have not used this at all um, <laughs> so it's still wrapped up in there but um, it has that capability as well so I feel like um, because of the setup of both of them and this one's made of leather as well these two are quite similar in my opinion this one is bigger ish like in terms of if you put them on top of each other like that it like sticks up just a little bit on the sides just a oh, maybe an inch 
more at the top. However, from the side, this one I think, oops, hang on, the strap is kind of making it difficult to see. Let me unclasp that so we don't have to deal with it. From the side, um, I think that the Harry might actually be able to hold more. And, and it's got a mommy section, which is better than both of those, the other ones. Um, I say better, that's not fair. We'll see if it's better in the packing video. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm including it. I, I realize that this is um, designed as a, as a handbag, like an evening bag. Um, and maybe you wouldn't want to use it as a diapering clutch. Maybe you wouldn't want to put this into your bag and pull it out whenever you're having to do any diapering kinds of things, but maybe you would. There are some things about this that in my opinion make it better, a better choice. Um, and by that I actually mean there are three bags here that all look like evening clutches, like all three of these do. Um, with that said, all three of them only overlap in features with one other one. So there's only like two, like for instance, these two are the only ones with wipeable inserts. Um, these two are the only ones that are made of leather. These two are the only ones that were designed to be diapering clutches. And I think that that makes a difference, <laughs> but we'll see if it actually makes a difference in terms of whether or not these are um, going to pull ahead. Like when I pack all three of them up, we're just gonna see whether or not they, all three can be used for the same purpose or if any of them just do it better. So um, I'm going to film that one either next or if my children wake up, it'll be in the next couple of days and I'll get it put up as well. And whenever it is live, I'll put the link for that one below as well so that you can see how they packed up. Um, thank you for giving me your time. I know that I'm just kind of rambling and talking about the features of these bags, but I wanted to separate it out because I, I didn't want the video to be, you know, 30 minutes long whenever I'm packing them. Um, so uh, again, I appreciate you and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks. Bye.